log furniture how-to. The most all-inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hey there, welcome back. Welcome to my first video of the new year. If you were watching a couple of weeks ago, you'll remember welding up our Christmas tree and adding one of these lone stars right to the very top. Now I've had quite a few questions about how to make one of these lone stars, so I thought in today's video it'd be kind of fun to show you step by step how to weld a lone star. <laughs> but before we pull out our welder, let's take a minute to get a closer look at this and see exactly what it's going to take to get one welded up. And like many geometric shapes, you'll see real quickly that these five-sided stars are made up of a series of triangles. In this case, they're obtuse triangles. And that's a triangle where one angle is more than 90 degrees. And as you'll see, it takes 10 of these triangles to make up half of this star. So the first thing we're going to want to do is cut a stack of these little obtuse triangles. And the quickest way I know to do that is to use some 18 gauge sheet metal and our electric shear. I've got a triangle here set up to make a seven and a quarter inch star. And this triangle has a four and a quarter inch long side, the short side is two inches, and the third side is three inches. And as I start to mark these out, I just want to be mindful of how we cut them out with our shear. As you'll see, I'm going to start with this long cut all the way across this piece. So we got all 20 of our triangles cut. The next step's pretty simple. It's time to weld. And to do that, we're going to start off by pairing up two of our triangles, long side to long side, and then we're going to tack weld them in two spots, here and here, so that we have the ability to bend them in and out. Something about like that. So now that we got all 10 of these welded up, the next step is pretty simple. We just start tacking them together. But before we do that, we want to take time to get them all lined up and make sure they're going to fit. And now is the time to make a few adjustments, simply bending these in or out. The idea here is to get them to all come to a point right in the center. Well, there's half the star. Let's get the other half welded up. We'll start by lining them all up again, making sure that we get that point right in the center. Next, we'll just marry these two pieces together. We'll take a minute to find out which way they line up together best. And then once again, we'll just tack them together. All right then, once you get it all tacked off and you're happy with it, it's time to weld it up. Well, there you go. It's just that easy. That's how you weld up a Lone Star. But you want to know a little secret? Check this out. Yep, there's an easier way, and it starts right here with the King Architectural Metals catalog. If you flip it open, look what they've got. Decorative lone stars of all different shapes and sizes. Hey now, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. And if you want to learn something fun to do with these leftover pieces of scrap metal, be sure to click this link right here and head on over to King Metal's YouTube channel. This has been Mitchell Dillman with Colorado Rocket Logs and LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.